I'm Billy Karam. I have the biggest collection in the world for dioramas and this is one of the biggest I have. My museum started around 30 years ago because I was kicked out from my house by my wife. I tried to put it in the salon, but she refused. I tried to put it in another office, she refused. She told me, please take all your stuff and put it in your office and go and play there. I, it's a house here, we don't have space for this. I talked to my brother, we took two rooms, one for his classic cars and one for my uh, model cars and uh, dioramas. I already have the biggest collection of uh, model cars in the world and two biggest collection of dioramas dioramas in the world. Hopefully looking forward for my next record, six records. Fire trucks, fire trucks, fire trucks, fire trucks, and fire trucks. This is part of my collection, it's the Porsche collection. You have all sorts of colors. And this is my Lancia that I won already four times the Lebanese championship with it and my Rossman Sports that I want already two Lebanese championship, uh, rally championship. When I won the Automobile Club uh, Lebanese championship with my BMW, this museum I'm trying to show as much as possible the mirror of my life. 80% of the cars you see here are racing cars. It's, I still am sure I have a record inside the record uh, <laughs> in this. Since I was young, I used to do dioramas. Then when I started being a race champion in Lebanon, I saw my car in a uh, fair in uh, France. I bought it all of them, and then I put trees, I put people, and, put, and then uh, mainly uh, a good picture, like jumping. So I did the car jumping on two wheels, and every time it's a beautiful memory in a race, I used to do it a diorama. The Peugeot on two wheels, there it is. The Peugeot on two wheels. There it is. Of course, I lost one second, but I still won the race. And here, my favorite stand, it's with Sebastian Loeb, world champion, my hero. One time, I was doing the same thing uh, he was doing, and I improved my timing by one second on each turn. I tried to improve a little bit more, so I, he took orange juice, I took orange juice. He ate uh, croissant, I ate croissant. He did like that, I did like that. I tried to follow him, and I hit the car. I had an accident, I couldn't follow him. But the idea is always to take a hero, try to follow him and try to beat the time and always do more than what you can do. Go to the limit of your limits. Bromley, Bromley. This is a big diorama. It's 40 years old and it took us nearly eight months to fix it and to uh, change the water, the grass. We added army, we added uh, 400 uh, trucks and cars factory of wood working, the train station working, the electricity. It's a really very beauty and uh, it's one of my uh, best diorama ever. We built this crane because it's a four meter wide diorama. It was impossible to fix it in the middle. So we had to do this crane and this platform so that we can reach every part of the diorama. Practical, right? This diorama, was done in for Bavaria. It's all real houses. We just counted one diorama. It was a long diorama to to work on it. Uh, it took us nearly two years to acquire it and fix it. Uh, so I think it's a big achievement to have one diorama in Guinness World Record as big as beautiful as this one. You have a lot of dioramas of war in my museum because we are Lebanese who are influenced by war all the time. So this is uh, World War II, Battle of the Bulge, Battle of Berlin. Battle of England, a movie, Black Hawk Down. I, I did the old diorama about the movie just to show war is not good, the war is not safe, and we don't want to have war anymore in Lebanon. It happened, and we hope it never happened again. That's the message that we want to send from my museum. This is my cabinet with the three special edition of Guinness World Records in 211, 213, and 217. Guinness World Record means that you are a child and don't want to grow up. <laughs> I try to pass a message via my uh, museum. It's free to everyone, to all the children, to all the universities. So they come here, they take picture with me, and I try to pass a message. Please put your seatbelt on. Please don't drink and drive, and uh, please don't use your mobile phone. Drive safely, drive intelligently. Don't throw your life away. You are the future of Lebanon. And it's very important to me that this museum, it's free to pass this uh, lovely message of safety on the road.